ASAP. Well, look at that little face now. Which? Look at the little face. What a little face. Oh my god, man, I swear to god, there was a face. Really? Oh, there was definitely a face. Was it yours? I think... Hello, no. Facebook. For the first time in a long time. I think we did it once before and we didn't have much... Uh, I was It didn't really work. No. It was at the early stages of Facebook Live. We had many, many issues. It wasn't even that it... Instagram was just fucking far more seamless. Yeah, you Between could just... Between the two, dive in. Instagram just worked way better. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to change this. Okay. Make sure it's in the middle. Yeah, that, that's what I just had to change there. Whoa, what the fuck is this now? <laughs> okay. Cool. Now, I'll just turn the laptop down so we can see you. Mm. I look good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all going down. I'm, I'm going to look at this one because it's a nicer phone and it's a bigger screen. I'm cool and with that. Do you want me to write down anything for the podcast or are you... Yeah, I'm good. You know I'm your good. your stuff. Yeah, I've got a couple things. Okay, don't need to press two buttons, don't it? Whoa. Well, I would have tested levels, but I think we'll be fine if it's from the last day. Mm -hmm. We did we recorded the last time in here, so the levels will be the same for the channels. That's true. Oh. Okay. Just remember, I'm in on Jamie, and you're in on Anto. Okay. So we might have to keep the levels. Warning, no. the podcast you're about to listen to may contain some bad language and some content that may not be suitable for children. Listener discretion is advised. No, I've been in heaven. You might want to turn the volume down. On the, the laptop. Oh, yeah, because that ping comes, comes through. Yeah, it always. Web or... So, yeah, there's always a little ping. Mm. Welcome. Very distracting. So, welcome Facebook, welcome Instagram, and welcome you, the listener, the most important of all. Uh, okay, this is going live. Are you coming through on the. I'm going to Am I? Oh, yeah, there you are. I'm a bit close. Am I? No, you're, you're definitely. No, for a while, your your vibrations were quite low. Where are they? Um, can no, we call I'm this the Dalmatian on. episode? Do you, you, well, yeah. 101. We're at episode 101. We've we've crossed a threshold. Mm, we're into triple figures. There's a little bit of a, like a, uh, there's a little bit of an uphill mountain there mm. for the last few weeks, and then eventually we passed 100, and now we're on the other side, yeah. and uh, it's a fresh feeling. Mm. Okay, so we've got Aoife Smith. Hello, Aoife Smith. Really? Yeah. Wow. So we're getting views from Korea at the moment. South Korea. Oh. Yeah, she's in South Korea at the moment. Wow. What time is it in South Korea, Aoife? Oh, which one? oh no, it's this one. Oh, it must be like very late. It's the opposite. When I wake up in the morning, I get a text from her like the odd time, and she's like, "It's going later to bed. in the day, yeah." She's going to bed. So it's Friday night. Oh no, Korea. Although Korea is way. It's Friday night. Hold on, what day is today? <laughs> Today's Monday, man. Today is Monday, not Friday. I was like, yeah, yeah they're five days in the future. Five days. Whoa. Ahead of us. She could let us know what's happening. <laughs> like if there's uh, anything in the news. Shit, man! I was like <laughs> saying this to you a couple of days back. Oh, it's it's twenty to eleven there. Hi oh, from Diego. Di Diego. Diego. My name is Diego. Will you um? I've got to hear. Uh, anyone listening to this on the actual podcast? Podcast. Yeah. The, the main iTunes. channel. The main channel. Apologies for the next minute. I'm gonna plug things in to make what sure they don't go dead. You're gonna plug. So my audio is gonna be a bit distant. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure everything. Do you want me to commentate what you're doing, or do you want me to just try and hey. kind of sound interesting on my own? <laughs> Man, whatever, whatever groove you feel. Okay, well, right. I'm gonna, oh no, well, I'm gonna okay. wait to take a sip of coffee actually because yeah. then we'll just get it. Have you tried it yet? No, I haven't. No, because we 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 were doing a bit more today before we set up than normal. That's a good point. So I haven't had a chance to take a taste. You know what? No. Facebook. If you go dead, you go dead, because I can't seem to fit the charger in. It's also our first time doing this. This week. phone's going to last a million years on battery, man, I'd say. When did you get it, like two days ago? Yesterday. Yeah, well then, this, I'd say this just has an infinite battery. I got, a, I got a brand new phone, man. Uh, I'm curious to see how Facebook works. I'm curious to see how it works. Like, Does it work exactly the same as Instagram, where it, it's the same thing where it, there's a little bar with your followers? and? Um, I don't know, actually. Gotta leave the Wi-Fi. Love yous. Ah, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for the kind words. Adios. From all the way from Korea. North or south? <laughs> you know the answer to that. Okay. North. Oh. No, south. 
So crazy. Today's uh, nutrition, today's uh, food is sponsored by walnuts and Maltesers. So. Nothing else? I thought I saw some other nuts in there. Uh, well, uh, there's probably a few nuts, but it's mostly walnuts. It's mostly little brown little balls. <sighs> And little, little brown balls. Little brown balls, salty chocolate nuts, and like little walnuts, mm. little brains. So it's good stuff. I got also, coconut oil all over myself. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it went on like my mouth, and I went to rub it, and I forgot how oily it was, it's and I just oily. got oil all over my fingers and my mouth. Great. No? You weren't looking for that. Well, I, can't, I don't want to touch anything now because I'm going to leave an yeah. oily residue. Just rub it on your face, rub it in your hair. That's what I do. I think I get spots from that. We, I, I Some have, people I have there, very yeah. different skin to you when, the, when it comes to stuff yeah. like that, yeah. We talked about it a while back where your hair... Remember we were saying... What's I think you were actually you were saying you were using coconut oil for your scalp. And that whole problem... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I can't remember what episode it was, but we touched on it ages ago. Yeah. Well, it um, sounds yeah, it sounds kind of weird out of context. Probably in context it sounds weird too. Yeah, I, I use coconut oil because many years, like since I was a kid, I always wanted like straight hair. I wanted stylish hair, so I'd use loads of gel. Dax wax, that type of shit. Dax wax, mousse, copious amounts of everything. I've used every product. So when I started not shampooing and conditioning my hair, I was like, what if I take this all the way with it, like hair health? And, like, like instead of. Because think about it, if I'm not going to be scrubbing stuff out of my hair with like a, a soap type thing, mm -hmm. then I probably shouldn't put shit in the first place there that will just sit. Yeah. So I haven't used like gels and stuff like that in ages. Yeah. So I'll just use a little bit of coconut oil. Stick it in the hair. It works. At times, not today. I didn't do anything with the hair today and it just looks like a... Are you able to shake crop. it yet? Does it wobble if you shake it? Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair is so thick and it just... Oh, I'm not at that point yet. You're ahead of me with that, but you have a different type of hair to me on that, so... Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's weird. I just, <laughs> just, I'm gonna, I'm having, I just have two I'm little curls really coming down. You yeah. just, just two little devil horns. Just like... Oh, two devil. little tails. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be great. Tells. I could do it some coconut oil at the moment to get that out of the way. Oh, I've got loads here, man. Yeah. You, just, you can just scoop a bit off. Oh, yeah, great. Great. Thanks. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I get to dry my hands, Jamie gets some coconut oil in his hair. So, welcome That's to what episode we 101. Yeah. Oh, this what? is gonna. We can't see what we're at time wise. Which, with what? Just for for looking later on in the episode. Uh, oh, months. good point. We'll have to dip down. We're at five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to tell somewhat. I, I just have to go under the table to yeah, figure it out. Because if I go to the required angle that I need to see it, yeah. I'm behind the bowl now and I can't see anything, not even. So. Yeah, and it's a big bowl too. Yeah. Um, we also made a concoction. Concoction. A concoction this is of a fruit, branch chain amino acids with mint and lemon. Mint and lemon? In water and then a little bit of spirulina, which is this weird green stuff I don't really know what it does do you want a little dip of it in your water no I'm going to finish my glass finish? of water and then I'm going to have a glass of this but then you're going to go from plain ass water to like really strong weird shit would you not want to dip it and have it diluted at first and kind of get your taste buds like ready for it no kind of like like buy me dinner first sort of a thing no no, no my body I'm going to have this nice glass of water and that plain ass water as you remarked um, I'm going to have a nice normal glass of water I'm going to do the dilution <gasps> I need to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment, I'm gonna see what's like. And? <laughs> we exaggerate everything just for the, just for the audio scope of it. Um, it just tastes like fruity water. <laughs> every, every sound we make is more exaggerative. <laughs> so, so, well, will we, will we get into the serious stuff? So I feel like we've been ignoring it for five minutes. Yeah, go on. Sometimes jump right in. Sometimes things are serious, and that's not laughing matter. Is that it? Yeah. That's the serious stuff. I just wanted to take a moment to make sure that people know we are serious. That we're not here to just have a joke. Laugh oh. At like their expense or our expense. I laugh at your expense, but I'll also laugh at my own expense. Like, what do you mean? Like, if a minus in my account? Like my expenses, you'll laugh at my expenses. Like say, who's giving you my tax returns? Like, that's my question. Like say, if you got your pants pulled down and your ass slapped, I'd laugh at that. Hmm. And like say, if you did, you have a friend that was notorious for that. Yeah, Roberto. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's a, he was a demon for it. Anyway, Lopez's younger brother. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he 
He, uh, Roberto. He had a... The pants... True facts. Hello, true facts. The pants puller slash ass slapper. Mmm. Yeah. Great. It's very effective. Like, you don't... That extra slap on your bare ass cheek <laughs> <laughs> makes the world a difference yeah. when you get your pants pulled down. Because you, you're then not only worrying about having to pull your pants up, you're worrying about this fucking stinging <laughs> sensation across your ass cheek, yeah. Did you ever play a football game where you got a football up the ass? Hmm? Oh, like red ass? Red ass, Red yeah. arse, as, it, as also red others arse. call it. Yeah, red ass. Red arse, yeah. Sorry, can we just talk about the quality for a second? The, like that the phone? Screen, yeah. To that one. Like, it's a whole other level. It's, it's, it's a different... It's a different level. Ooh, what, tell is me he trying the, to focus on this? Yeah. Is the, I don't know if that's the phone or Facebook, though. I don't know if that's a oh. phone feature or a Facebook feature. Oh, it must be the phone, right? I would have thought that as well. It's, good, it's kind of going... Eh? But it, I don't yeah. know why it, it keeps trying to. That's where I'm getting confused because mm. it keeps trying to autofocus. Is there enough for you? Is there ever? Question. Fucking knows. Sorry, sorry, Instagram. You're kind of getting ignored now that Jamie has a new fucking cool phone that he got. We, we got a new. Oh phone. my god, man! Yeah. I can't get over. It. I'm, I'm hypnotized by it. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice fucking phone. What is it? Tell us what so, it is. So I've been thinking for a while. I do a lot of social media mm -hmm. I do a lot of video photography mm -hmm. I do that kind of stuff I show up with my fancy toys and people pay me money to make good quality videos and every time I put out my phone I just feel like it's not up to the same standard and I've I, for the, la and the last three four phones I, I've been compensating like the last real good phone I had was the iPhone 3 or 4 <laughs> years ago and that lasted me over 2-3 years mm. and that was a really good phone when it came out and is it one similar shape to this? Was it like I think it was a bit shorter and thicker. Was it roundier? That's a mad question. But was it like, was it more? Round? I know what you mean at the corners. I, I think so. It's one of the really old iPhones, mm. but like, not the first generation. Like the third or the four, it was like such a solid phone. Mm. It was just right. The was, iPhone four was amazing. It might have been the four. The, yeah. And I had that for ages. But ever since that, the last three, four phones I got, I got it because they were cheap and they were all right. A cheap HTC, mm. another cheap HTC. A cheap Samsung, another cheap Samsung. Yeah. This time, just like a week or two ago, I was like, I've been working my ass off. I deserve an early birthday present. Mm. And I deserve like a good quality phone that represents me. And this is what I got. The Samsung oh, Galaxy S8. Really good camera. I think I can swim underwater with it and actually film. Yeah. Because you can do it with mine. And mine's been out a fucking year, two years now at this point. Can you? Yeah. How are you in the I did, I tested it all the time. Yeah. I did it all the time. I was oh. dipping it in points of water and shit for, oh, for no fucking reason. Like. Did you ever scare someone with that? Did, were you no. ever like, here, take my phone and then pass over the table and drop into a point to be like, my phone, no. you madman. No. I oh, I but, uh, the phone I had even before this, the earlier model of this, Eugene Salzman. Hello, Eugene Salzman. Wait, um, Salzman or Salesman? S-A-L-Z-M-A-N-N. -N. What are you selling? I'm going to guess German. What are you selling? Is it German? Oh, it's German. I would imagine, like, what I don't know why we're looking at this, man. I, we never do this, so I can't imagine we'll get many feedback. Right. Many, what are those things when people listen to you and watch you? Listeners? Mm. Viewers? Yeah. You call them, are we calling them viewers? Like, viewers? I guess. What would you call them? I don't think we're going to get many Facebook. What about viewers? readers? No, nah, you're not reading us. Well, it's I suppose you could be book. reading about it. It's a book of faces. Reading our faces. Good point. Fuck, I don't know. Mm. Anyway. The phone I had before this, the Xperia Z3, mm. was fucking waterproof. And that was even longer ago. That was like, you're going back like three or four years now at this point. iPhone, this is a thing. Hot, man, Android phones are so far ahead of the game compared to iPhones. Now they are. I think Apple, always, maybe not always have been. But, no, Apple yeah. like had the idea and they had the right mm. intention. But then they got to a certain point where they, 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 got a bit, they definitely got mm. greedy. And they stopped being innovative. Because they have such a huge following. You kind of mm. need... I don't know. I think you might see it now. Because there's such a kind of like a drop across the market. Mm. You're seeing Samsung. You're seeing Sony. You're seeing Huawei come up as like HTC. leaders. I still think I still think HTC isn't as good as the other ones. Mm. But that's... I don't know. I'm not a huge phone person. Where's Obi when you need him? Oh, fuck. We need to get him back on. He's great, man. He's Shit, great. We, we'll have to get on to him. I again. actually... I was, in face, I was Facebook again with him. Uh, recently. I like a... 
one day I need to go and, and, and give him uh, cameras. We had Obi on as a guest, I don't know, a good while ago, and uh, a long he, fucking time ago now. Yeah, he, he works in. Wait, was that supposed to be private? Oh shit, I don't know. I don't. No, no we haven't given up on that. No, I think we can say where he works, but not who he works for. Yeah. So sorry, Obi, if we've given you identity away, but I think we're allowed to say he because we said we were in. Oh yeah. fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, so he's, he's kind of a private person, so I don't know if it's more him rather than the business. Um, Is he going to be listening to us? Do you think he's going to hear this episode? He might now that we're doing Facebook stuff. Oh shit! He, well, he probably knows if we're doing Instagram shit. There was a whole floor of that building was just fucking Instagram. Do you remember that? Building? Now they know what you're talking about. Oh fuck! Shit. Uh, anyway, we went back recently. Mick actually gave me a lift there, and then Mick came in, and he was so happy. Mm. We both came out with ice cream. We both just looked like a couple of kids. Uh, we, we were supposed to get a free an amazing meal. building. It's it's pretty mm. fucking cool. Uh, I would love to create a fucking work place like mm. that. A work ethic. A work. What would you call it? An ethos. Yeah. Like just like a. Mm. An atmosphere where yeah. people can go and they actually enjoy the work, they love the work, it's cool, it's funky, they're doing shit, yeah. and they're eating shit. Um, yes. No, not actually. It, it I don't want, fucking so, yeah, just to be clear, I don't want people eating shit. If they want to, they should be allowed to. Hmm. Personal feelings on the matter aside, if you're running a business and some of your staff like to eat their own shit, like, let them. Let I them. Mean, do you let people eat their own shit as a as an know. employer? I don't. I, I don't know. might this might this, like upset other staff. It members. Might, yeah. might have gone into the toilet and instead of washing his hands, he has hey, or her. Hey, hey, has the shit that they just took in the toilet and they're eating it in the sink instead of washing their hands or something. I don't know because you know what we've <clears> talked about before that there's a line where if you're insulted, that's kind of your thing that you've yeah. chosen. But like. If you worked in a place and someone you know is digesting their own insides, well, it's I not their own insides, line. you see. No, but it's no, it's it's the I don't know, man. I don't know if you can eat your own poo in a workplace and it's okay. I think there's kind of oh, am I am I gone out of frame? It's okay, we can twist this. You sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it just I'd say you still look the same, but the text is just covering you on that version. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna move your phone box. The colors. Colors are beautiful. In which? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely. It's. it's oh, a, it's an amazing phone. I'm so jealous. And I even touching it, man. Even the feel of it in my hand it, felt so it's good, isn't nice. it? Like, hey, you too oh, could get this phone. It's it's my only my only issue is that I don't like overly big phones in my hand. Yeah, usually yeah. I don't either. But is is this a bit smaller than some of the really big ones? It seems a bit narrower. It seems a bit what? narrower, like in in width. in width, yeah. Maybe that's it. I mean, like I wouldn't have thought I would like a, any phone bigger than the Samsung or my old Samsung. This one, yeah, yeah. That's that. kind of where I am with size with this one. Yeah, that's why. Like I no bigger than kind of my own phone, which is the Z Five. Which again which is, is lovely. fucking cracked. I can't put it under water anymore. Oh, yeah. I've compromised the See, the integrity of the waterproof. That's an issue because like, mm. how do you? What if there's a little crack and you're not aware of it? And you go in the water and then... It's your own fault. Do you have that insured? No. Have you ever insured a no. phone? No. They asked me if I wanted to insure yeah, it. And I was like, you know what? Overall, this phone's probably going to be really expensive. Yeah. Like, once it's all said and done, once all the months are done of the contract, it probably does make sense to uh, insure it. But I've never done that on a phone. How long is the contract for, actually? Every contract, I'm pretty sure, that you ever get on a phone is two years minimum. Some do rolling contracts, rolling. but I don't think for a phone that fancy and expensive that they will do a rolling contract with you. Yeah. What do you mean rolling? <sighs> I don't. I think like those Nimbisca. contracts you don't you don't even get. Yeah. Okay. Like the donut place. Like Fred Durst. Yes, him. Okay. You you just rolling, do it month rolling, by month. Rolling. It's essentially a fucking. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. It's essentially just pay as you go. Like it's you just get a contract for a month. Mm -hmm. And then after the month, it will just renew and it will take it out automatically. You don't have to top up. I think that's kind of the only difference with a rolling contract and pay as you go at this point. I mean, with this, I get like all the kind of stuff I used to get with pay mm. as you go. It just happens to be billed. I've had fucking awful problems with bill pay phones. Really? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, don't say uh, that. Yeah, do you want me... Oh, I don't know. I can tell you why. Like, I can tell you what the story was. I, I don't want to know, but I think it's important okay. that the listeners know. Yes. Um, tell us. <laughs> so, my ex, one of them, uh, the one that I don't like... The one that I don't like, you yeah. know who I'm talking yeah, about right. at this point. Um, when I first started seeing her, she went on holiday to Australia for like, fuck, well, fuck, I'm probably giving it away if anyone knows it at this point. But uh, she went to Australia for like three weeks, and I was texting her. This was kind of before. This would have been kind of before WhatsApp really took off. So oh, yeah. it was still SMS that I was contacting her on, and I didn't realize in my bill pay plan that international texts. Weren't in, like weren't included, and I racked up like fucking three hundred and fifty quid in that month. Yeah. No. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Did really, you really fucked that? me over. No, I did. Like I kind of did. I got around to it eventually. Like, mm. but uh. Jesus. Yeah, like it took me fucking ages to clear. Oh, like, God. It was a pain in the ass. Oh, I see that. Be fucking annoying. Yeah, it was crap. It was crap, and I constantly went over allowances and shit. Like. Like, you know the way they give you X amount of whatever gigabyte... Well, it would be data and shit now, mm. like, but... X amount of this and X amount of that, like... But when the bill pay I was on, what... You could go... That wasn't capped. You could easily go over these limits. And I just never fucking paid what they said I would pay per month. Like, I always went over. And when I went over, I went over fucking loads. Like, I'm not trying to scare you, like... I, I See, I'd say it's different with that. I'm feeling kind of scared. I'm um, pretty sure the deal's yeah. good. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure there's like unlimited roaming. Mm. Uh, like, well, that's a thing now. I think the EU did away with roaming charges on their mobile networks. Like, like I think I think so, yeah. It's like I can just go online. Mobile data all the time. Yeah. So It's the same as it would be if you were doing it over here. It's the same price, I think. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not exactly yeah. sure because I haven't been away after these new rules came into effect. So I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm nearly sure the EU did just get rid of Roman charges and shit. Yeah, I need to look into it, man. Mm. Th- there, was, there was a whole list of things that looked really compelling. Well, obviously, I can't even know what off the top of my mm. head, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a good deal. I mean, sure, let's find out at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, like, maybe it's, maybe there's, like, some kind of rule, like, oh, but don't do an hour of Facebook Live. That's 20 euro. Mm, I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah. And you, I wonder if I know, how do you know if people watch on This Facebook? is what I'm saying. Like, That's the thing about Facebook Live. How are you supposed to know what the fuck's going on? Um, I don't know if they tell you who's watching. Is anyone watching? I like, don't at know, least I'm, we know on um, Instagram. We've got yeah, like, comments, we, we've, we've got texts. We've got a fucking way bigger following on Instagram than we do on Facebook. Well, again, we don't and this is the first Facebook one in much. a long time that we've, did on, um, that we've done on Facebook, so... I think we'll have to just keep up with the Facebook thing to, yeah. see, if it, to see if we... Let's see what we get out of it. Yeah. I was talking to someone recently who said that they went on Facebook Live for one of the first times ever and got like thousands of views. I was like, that's really interesting. Someone we know? Is this someone I know? Okay. It was someone I was talking to. Someone through the biz. Someone through the biz. Yeah, I might be doing a video for her in the future. Nice. In the future! That's a good song. What's that called? It's it's called uh, Blast from the Past. Oh. In the future. Interesting. Interesting. A Blast from the Past in the future. Are you going to mix... Walnut and Malteser? No. Oh. You spit on my grave. Oh, Jesus. Can I get some of this mad stuff now, please? Yes, please. please. Give me your vessel. It's kind of warm. Uh, yeah, I peed in it. Okay. Salt, I suppose. Get some magnesium. The colour difference between the two, just because the sediment was at the bottom. Oh, yeah. But also because mine still had like a good bit of water in it. Oh, look at it! Look at the um, look at it on your phone. The, the color difference even between. Oh, that look, looks like pee. It kind of looks orangey now. Now it was white. It was far greener. Mm. It's so clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! Do you want to swap phones with me? Do you want to take much? this phone for me and I'll take this phone? Oh look! Shit! It does tell you, man. We've got a. We've got. Oh, it does Facebook. tell you. Yo, what's up? But it doesn't tell you who. It doesn't tell you who. who? I think they just left. <laughs> Maybe they just, just wanted to peek in. Yeah. Peek in. Um, okay, we'll keep... I like the phone. Yeah. We, we'll see how the Facebook works. We'll try we'll, that. We'll, we'll keep going with it for a while. monitor from a distance. So, 
fucking what, what time? Oh, yeah, 23 minutes. Yeah. Nice. So, 101. Episode yes. 101. Like the Dalmatians. What do you really think? Of Sh- episode 101? Of, of 101. Oh, Dalmatians. I forgot the fucking coin again. Ah. It's all good, man. It's all good. <sighs> and I forgot the new coin. Shit, man, I keep forgetting that. Now that, because I... I have a conquer here. We could flip that. Mm, I don't think it'll work. I have yeah. coins in my pocket, but they're not going to sound anything. It's not flipping. the same, no. I, I'll, you, we'll, I'll have a coin in case we do it again. Fuck, man. I, so good. I have another confession to make. Oh, no. Yeah, it's something that's been on my mind for a while. Podcast related. You've been eating your own poo? Mm, not at work. Metaphorically, I suppose you could say I was eating my own poo. So. Metaphorically? Yeah, I have a confession. I have a confession. Um, You're going to do the confession here? Like, yeah, I'm going to do the confession. Should I put on my priest outfit? No. No? No. Nah, no, too weird. Yeah, okay, yeah, you go for it. So you may remember a long, <laughs> long time ago, uh, you found a pair of shorts. Or there was a pair of shorts you had that didn't fit you. You bought them and they were the wrong size and we did a competition to give them away. Yeah. And uh, a girl called Taylor from America won, won the competition. We were going to give them away and it yeah. was on my shoulders to post these shorts. Uh, I misplaced the shorts and I never posted them. Wow. But I found them during the week. Great. So I'm going to post them months, <laughs> months after. Uh, so Taylor, if you're listening, uh, uh, if you're listening to us, on yeah. a, or, or watching us on Instagram or fucking Facebook, whatever, uh, the shorts. I'm gonna send the shorts to you. Um, it's so, so weird. Sorry looking for back. how long it is. Sorry yeah. for how long it's after taken. Yeah, but, yeah um, these shorts are longer than you'd expect. They're they're not they're not like short shorts. No, they're like long shorts. They're kind of the like jean shorts, kind of like khaki. Like if they were short shorts, they'd probably get to you sooner. But these are longer shorts. I don't think it will go wrong. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. I don't know why you reminded me of Wolverine today. Because my hair is... On a, I'm having a bit of a weird day with my hair. Yeah, but it doesn't look Wolverine-y, I don't think. Look at how... Look at how... <laughs> far off my head it comes to when I pull it back like this. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, see how you... Mm. Weird, man. It's... it's yeah. Because I, I washed it and I didn't dry it properly and then it was kind of still wet and then it... Oh. It's just gone dry and kind of puffy. That's what happens in my hair. Poufant. I never Poufant. fully dry my hair. Yours is far cooler than my own. Oh, yeah. Oh, it needs the moisture. Mm. It has to suck it up like a little plant. Bitches. <laughs> yeah, cur- curly hair drinks. It needs like it needs moisture. Really? That's what they say. I don't really get it. Gets frizzy? Gets frizzy when it's su- it really dry? It gets easier for some reason. Why? Why does curly hair get drier than stray hair? I don't know. Yeah. Let me think. Let's try yeah. and break it down. Well, first, before we finish the whole short thing, I want to explain to you. Actually, you already did all this. I don't know why. I don't okay. explain it, but yeah. Just if you're a bit out of the loop and you don't understand. The shorts are on the way. The shorts, the shorts, the shorts, the shorts, are, on the shorts are on the way from now on. I bought shorts. Didn't fit me. <laughs> fucking months ago at this point. We, we gave it away to a listener and uh, she wants it for her boyfriend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, he's getting it eventually. Do you have their address and stuff? Yeah, like I see that's still still in the the, the inbox. Yeah. So it, yeah, send her a little thing and say, yeah. tell her. Uh, I'd say I'd say start it off with our little short short joke. Do shorts longer than usual. So I actually yeah. wrote out. I've I've gotten a note oh. written out already. When I found them, I was like, oh fuck, they're there. I'm gonna have to write. I this, I need to. So I wrote out a little a little page, a little letter. Wow, nice. That's what it is, essentially. And I just folded it up and put it in the pocket of the... I'd say send her... Let's, I had lost. Have you sent it yet? No. No, let's send her a chocolate with it. Let's put a chocolate in the pocket. Oh, then it's probably going to melt it. Oh, yeah. And then, like, not only are you, are you getting shorts late from Maybe a podcast... A bar. But then you also got shorts and when you put your hand in it, your hands come No, we, I think if we send a chocolate bar, it'll be all wrapped up in, in packages. Oh, that's what I mean. Wrap it up, but then put oh, that in the pocket. Oh, I thought you just meant, like, a... Square, not like a Maltese piece of chip. Go on, speaking you of gonna, you gonna get one? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get an almond, a Malteser, and a Walmart. You're mixing savoury and sweet. No, I love terrorist. it. No. Terrorist. No. Terrorist. You were missing out. I was at a party the other night. Uh oh. And a, through some mad twist of events, one of the one of the people who lived in the house um, brought out a chocolate fountain. Yeah. I'm listening. And one of my friends, Noel, wanted to fucking put meanies in it. You wanted to get, you know, the crisps. Yeah. You, un, unless you're Irish, you're probably not going to know what meanies are. Mm. But they're like, a, they actually kind of look like a wall, like a kind of weird little shape of similar to a walnut. Well, it's like a monster's paw print, isn't it? I think, yeah, I think that's what it is, something like that. No, it's they're like, monster like, munch. 
Oh. Yeah, it's meanies. meanies are more like... Oh, meanies are... Don't make any sense, do they? No, I, they're... They're kind of just like... Yeah, it's yeah. like a kind of shape, like a wall. They're kind of like a little walnut-y type shape. And they're really? pickled onion, um, kind of crispy... That's actually a really good description. They do look a bit like walnuts. Yeah, they can, yeah don't like, they? Like they're, they're kind of brains or like spiders. Like ju- yeah, fuck, I don't know what they are, man. But uh, he wanted to put... And they're... Like, these things are pickled onion, like... The, He's onto something. You're a terrorist, and I will Noel, do that. if you're out, like, if you're listening to this now, or if you're watching this, Noel, you're a fucking terrorist, and I said that to him. That you, t- I don't know, yeah. I'm all for the whole Maltesers and popcorn. Go, not that I enjoy it, but I kind of at least see the allure of it. Hmm. Pickled onion in a chocolate fountain is fucking terrorism. I'm sorry. Have you man. tried it? No, I haven't tried it. Is that there you go. Or what? Like, there you go. <sighs> Try it. You might like it. No, your t- your tongue could be dancing in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how upset I am. That's how upset I am by all of this. Be careful, man. That, that's what. Whoa, <laughs> I don't even. I don't think I can even do that. Also, I, thought, I just went G. Well. I said G. Like I was like in America. Oh, G whiz. Oh, G. Good. It's good yeah. shot. You gotta have to. It's more like it's this. Mm. But you're just gonna have to make sure you know where the nut is on your hand, so you're not like slapping it into. Yeah. Your I don't want a nut in my nose. No. Nobody does. Or my forehead. Some, well, maybe some people do. Yeah. Okay. Not me. So, so yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Oh, yesterday was Sunday. I'm having a, I had a good Sunday. Yeah, me too. Mm. What'd you get up to? Did you go to the house of prayer? Well, uh, I had a good week. Or in fantasy football. Oh. Had a You've good been having week. great weeks. I'm, if I win this week, I'm top of that league. I wow. think. Because I'm playing Mac, our friend Mac. And he's the crafty veteran of the fantasy football world. Mm. Uh, he's he's only lost one. Well, in fairness, I've only lost two. He lost one. But me and him are playing each other this week. And I'm currently beating him by like 25 points or something. And he's only got one player left. He has Jordan Reed for the Washington Redskins, the tight end. Playing against the Philadelphia Eagles, who are actually playing remarkably well at the moment. So I don't think he's going to get the, the 20 Eagles foot. Are yeah, they are actually. The, the Philadelphia Eagles are playing quite well, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard anything about that team in the past. They've been a bit of a so-so team for the last few years. Um, but they're good. And I don't know if Jordan Reed will get 25 points against the Eagles' defense. Um, so I don't want to jinx it, but it's looking good. Uh, and that... The yeah, touch, touch, touch the lucky score. The lucky skull. Yeah. Do oh. I just poke? Like do I it's grab it? Or? Sorry yeah. about that. It's only dust. Yeah. What's that? Do what you feel like. Oh, lucky skull. Let me beat Mac in fantasy football. Okay, your wishes. Has it gone in? Yeah, it's got. It's in there, man. <laughs> wow. Well, I didn't think it would look like that. But yeah, it's in yeah, there. Yes, so a great Sunday. Um. Great. Yeah. So fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. I'll cross my toes here. Can you? Can you do it in your... Oh, you've got room all slippers, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'm crossing something, I think. Mm. So, I was at a, a family somebody. dinner. Your turn. Go. A family dinner. I was at a family dinner last week. And I was talking to my little cousin and I was telling her about Aoife being in Korea. And her eyes lit up. And she told me all about K-pop. Mm. Do you know what K-pop is? Fucking K... Uh, like... What's his fucking name again? No, no, it's a genre. I know, um, oh. Soy, Soy, Gangnam yeah. Style, Yeah, that's K-pop. Oh, I guess it is. It, it basically just means Korean pop, and it's South Korean pop music. Very dancey, very kind of dance-oriented, I think. Yeah, it's such a wide, it's just pop music, but mm. it's, it's like, Kore- I don't know, they've somehow made it like its own genre, and it's called K-pop. And I found out that my little cousin's like huge into Asian culture. She loves like K-pop, especially this one band that are like a kind of like an Asian One Direction thing going on. She's like really into them. Then she was telling me all about like a manga and like she's huge into like um, Death Note and like all these like. Oh, she liked that. She loves all the. She loves all. She can tell me about everything. Is Death Note Korean? She was. T- she watched. Maybe not. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it could be Japanese. I think Japan, Korea. She likes right? Japanese culture too. Yeah, no, she was telling me loads of shit. And I was like, have you ever been to the comic like bookstores in town? And she was like, no, I'm too young. Because she's only like 12 or 13. She's never really gone to town. Her parents didn't let her. And I was like, great, I'll bring you next week. So this weekend, yesterday, 
I brought her, I met her at Weston, brought her to the to, to town, we both went in together, and I brought her to the... What an amazing experience, does she love it? Is she into comic book culture and in general, or is it just, um, like, Japanese, Korean in particular? Uh, look, she wouldn't like Marvel and DC. Uh, I was looking more at those kind of books, like the graphic novels and flicking through them, and she could, like, appreciate mm. the artistry of it, because she was saying, compared to, like, Korean, it's, like... Like more like or not Korean but like manga and stuff is mm. more like simple like Japanese and all that it's like in one way it's it's more simplistic or I a lot of them are black and white as well but what's cool mm. what's cool about the Korean stuff or maybe oh, I'm, I'm, Korean I and Korean Japanese or animation goes right to left very either like super extreme super detailed like ridiculous level of animation mm. or really simple like think Pokemon yeah, where true. it's just his little yeah. head with little spiky kind of hair and little the like, triangle shaped eyes and a little small mouth like yeah. it's it's really simplistic. Um, where's Pokemon from? Is that Japanese? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pokemon shop. Like it's really simple, but then you've got like something like fucking Death Note or yeah. like what was the woman? Attack on Titans. Attack on Titans. Where it's super. She's detailed. watched all of that as well. Well, then she's not fucking young enough to. I feel be like disallowed going into town. Like I, I was like, oh. I feel like I watched a few episodes of that and I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you need a breather after that shit. You spoke <sighs> it's about intense. That. It fucking is intense, man. I haven't finished Death Note yet because I got into Star Trek. Oh, yeah. But we'll get into that later on in the episode. Um, but yeah, I, I just felt like if I was her age, I'd really appreciate someone doing this for me. Mm, yeah. I'm and because really I'm like, if I love imagination, I love stuff like that. If I can, if I have like a kid around me or, or anyone, anyone of any age that I feel like can help like put towards that world I'll always push them so we went together and also because like in fairness her dad's like quite busy with business stuff and uh, like her brother needs a bit more attention so anytime they're in town the mum's distracting you know so they've got like a schedule with me we were able to just like kind of chill out and see loads of things wander about I brought her to Forbidden Planet oh yeah then Forbidden I brought her to yeah. Subsidy yeah uh, the, the, the newer one off Georgia Street and we went to George's Arcade and she found a little shop that has loads of K-pop stuff. Mm. So she was in her element. She got posters and all that. Great. This is um, a great thing, man. I'm glad this thing happened for this it person. It was a great day. You know? Amazing. I have so many little cousins I get. I, like, I'm the oldest on the Irish side, I guess. By far? Huh? You're the oldest? No, I'd say the next. Far or the what? next is it? Like, three, three, two years. Okay. Like she's, she's like, she's a serious, like, accountant. Like, she's working over in Luxembourg. Oh. Have I ever told you about that cousin before? Her, I about Luxembourg. her name is... Amber. Yes. So she... I think we've seen Amber a couple of times pop up on the you show. You probably have, actually, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Um, Hello, Amber, if you're listening and watching now. Sup? Luxembourg! <laughs> but, yeah, I guess I just felt like, oh, I have a responsibility and all that. But also, it was a great day for me to just nerd out and feel like I was looking at comic books Ooh. again. And the figurines are so fucking cool. And we had pizza and donuts and... Great. So good. That was a great mm. Sunday, man. I really needed that. Good day for you. Good day for her. Yeah. Great. Have they finished renovating Forbidden Planet, or is it still being done up? Oh, it's still being done up. Yeah, Holy yeah, smokes! Yeah, it looks cool in there. Mm. Way better than the last time I was there. I like that. That the the, the cash register is up above, so they can kind of look around. They can mm. kind of see. They've moved it. Yeah. Yeah, and and when you come in, the left side is expanded, and it says new comics, and it's only like half filled. So I presume they're going to be oh, using that, that for like. I was there. Oh, there's like this whole kind of like open kind of <gasps> like walk-in kind of thing. Just like an extension, I guess you could say. Mm. And it says new comics. And it's like half filled. Oh, they've bought into next door, have they? Must. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean. That explains it. Yeah. When I was there, that was, there was a big kind of just a curtain hanging up. And you couldn't, like, it, it looked like they'd cut into the wall. I was like, yeah. what the fuck is this? Like, what, are they, what is this they want in there? Oh, it's like so spacious in there. So where the old cash register would have been. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's just like an open. Mm. That's a whole oh, thing now. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back into this place, man. I was, <gasps> I was quite impressed. Oh, it was cool. Yeah. Fuck, you got me. Um, very exciting, exciting times. It is exciting mm. times. Yeah. Would you like some PCAA tablets? Yeah. Are these the same ones from the last time? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, come on, let's do it. Doing drugs live on air. Mental focus. Mental focus. Backwards. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hello. Hit me up. I'm your dealer. I'm yep. your dealer. 
So they're basically the exact same thing that's in the, the drink that we're drinking. It's just branch chain amino acids. But cider are a little bit different. For any... Oh, yeah, no, it is. Because the, the, the one that's in the drink is a very natural found version of BCAAs. As in, it's just like from fruit properties and like beetroot and like certain root vegetables as well. It's just like extracts from that. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is certain specific chemicals. Well, this, this one's tyrosine arginine, mm. acetal l carnitide, and then, I love the, the way you pronounce that. that. Yeah. Go on, do it again. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, dimethyl amino ethanol. Oh! <laughs> um, they're oh. different things. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't take these things and go to the gym. You know, you, if you're going to the gym, you want this stuff. Yeah. You're yeah, going I mean, for a busy meeting or something. Technically, they're supposed to be the same thing. I, you, you've tried them. Okay, you, you've only taken two mm -hmm. ever a day. You haven't been around me long enough to take like four in a day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. supposed to take it two, two twice a day. As in like you would take it maybe with your lunch and then again with dinner. And the oh. whole point is that like there's a bit more of a cognitive boost because you're getting yeah. more amino acids, more protein into the bloodstream. I don't know what I'll get. Getting but it's not just brain, proteins, yeah. is it? Because it's like it's got the it's got the omegas as well, right? Isn't that how branch chain I think so. work? Well, I think so. You'd have to look up again exactly what it was. But yeah, it yeah. seems like they've got enough to kind of boost mental performance. Um, wow. Yeah, I feel it, man. Your eyes are really wide there. Yeah, because I feel it. I feel it. Do you feel it? Oh, you're, you've got the opposite way. You've kind of gone... You've become smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my face go... I can get my face... like. Really compact, like I can get it. Can into you lick your nose? No, I can't. I used to be able to lick my nose. No, I can't. Oh, you're so close! Oh, you're so close! Push your nose down! Oh, you got it! Good yeah, man. good man. Oh god, good job, Jamie. That was intense. I just close. I don't have that at all. No one can deny it now. Now, back when I had an underbite, I could like lick it both my nose. Oh my god! <laughs> just scratch your eye with your tongue. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, the jaw was forward, so I guess everything kind of had that extra. Mm. Yeah. Well, we all have, I'm having one of those days where have gifts. every time I look at the screen, I see my hair, mm. and I realise how fucking ridiculous my hair is looking. But I think it's just in that weird length. I think we're both there, man. Like, look, look at this. Like what? this fucking shit there. My hair looks like half a cat is sitting on my head. It looks like a cat is lying on my head facing the other way, and that's its little tail. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It looks like a little cat has perched itself on my head, it's wrapping around. It's looking that way, and its little tail is landing on my forehead. Yeah, kind of. Pretty curly cat. Super curly. Hey, man. The curliest cat in town. Thanks. Do you remember when people used to... Well, you wouldn't, because you weren't born in the 70s. I wish I was. No, I wish I was born in the 50s. Oh. Or maybe even the 40s, and I'll tell you why, because I would have been the age I am now in the 60s. And I think uh, if I could, I think if there was an era okay. that I could live in, it would be. But would the sixties be better than the seventies? Um, I just want to be able to walk into a room with like baggy trousers that are also tight, and then like just like a weird top and loads of hair, like a big afro, mm. and be like. Yeah. Everything was dancing. It's like more the rock for me than the kind of the disco stuff. I know the disco was very heavy in the seventies. I well, think for me, it's more like Led Zeppelin, yeah. Beatles, and Hendrix, and all the real that would be cool. Brit rock type stuff is that's that's a good point. That for me is the the golden age. I think. Oh, but imagine walking into a room. Where, for you. Imagine when culture was disco. How amazing was that? I feel like that'd be amazing to walk into a room and just be like flares on and yeah and just like everything you do is so like mojo everything everyone just had mojo everyone was just like funk is another one that I I love funk music and actually. Funk is probably the only type of music that I feel comfortable dancing to. Funk music, I oh man, get that funk, get that funk out into the airwaves and. Mm. I don't like that song though. Yeah. That's I play that funky music, white boy. Isn't yeah. It? I don't like that one. I've never liked that song. For I, used some to say, I I thought they I thought they used to say play that fucking music, white boy. Oh, they could do it. Was a, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's funky. funky. Yeah. Play that fucking music, play that fucking music. How <laughs> do you say it like that? Play that fucking yeah. music. Yeah. I'm a purple, play um, that fucking music. I never liked it. I never liked that yeah. song for some reason. Oh, I used to. Um, it was it was on a playlist on a disc when I was a child. Oh, so you heard it a million times? Yep. Do you know the name of the band? Oh, 
I'll come back with it. I think it was kind of a, it might have been some sort of eponymous, 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 Um, I don't know. Eponymous. But you know what else was on that disc? Go on. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh, Very moods. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Eponymous. Like it, the name of the band was like something about like white boy funk or something. I don't know. Oh, no, it wasn't. Were they not? No. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't like the song. So so that's a mad playlist. What was the purpose of that playlist that had I don't fucking know. played a funky music? I think my dad would get it from like newspapers or magazines. And then that was oh, all the discs that we yeah. had in the car. We just had like a mix of things. I don't know if they came out at the same time. I could be wrong. That could be from a different disc. But it definitely was the same era. It was definitely the same time that I'd be listening to that song. I was also listening to that song. What else? Oh, that's yeah, of random shit. Magazines and Sunday supplements and shit used to come with CDs and them, yeah. For ages. My dad would collect them all. We just have loads yeah. of classic music. Like, have you ever heard Spanish Train by Chris Berg? Spanish Train by Chris de Borg. Do you know Chris de Borg? I do. Rosanna Davidson's dad. Or, Rosanna... Sorry, Rosanna Davidson. Mm-hmm. No, 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 Davidson. Rosanna Davidson's father. Yes. So uh, he's, he, you know. back in the day, he was a very famous acoustic singer-songwriter. Mm-hmm. Huge in Ireland. Lebanon loved him. Really? He was big in many places. Yeah, he has a song called On a Lebanese Night. Oh, he goes like this. On a Lebanese night. Ding, 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 on a Lebanese night. Yeah. He also sang that song... Lady in Red. Lady in Red. Hmm. He's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fella. Um, um, I know. He, no, he's cool. So why hold him? Because you're after. He has a song called Spanish Train that oh, Spanish does not Train. get credit. This like it's a it's a fucking phenomenal song. Like every time I listen to it, it's so epic. It's so dramatic. So and epic. I think Tenacious D got their idea for tribute by listening to this song. Oh. So this song is about the devil and God playing cards and they're playing poker for the life, for people's lives. But the whole song isn't just made up out of nowhere. It's based off some sort of Spanish um, folklore about some area where a train goes by and people are waiting for the train and like it's like the train of the dead or something like that. I like that idea. I like that concept for a song. Oh, the Spanish folklore is really, up. is really interesting. They're fascinated with that, yeah. They love, they love that, and they have so many like monsters and gold ghouls, and like mm. I know every culture does, but like Spain, Spain and Mexico have really interesting things like about like the voodoo and like uh, Scooby Doo. And no, oh, they don't like Scooby Doo, just voodoo. They might like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is. I think he's comes universal. Across, comes across a lot of voodoo in his, his own adventures. He does, yeah. But then the mask comes off and it's like, Coach so Jerry! Bastard, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, like, it's the fella who lives next door who's got a shit job and has nothing better to do. And Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's not so voodoo, I suppose. No, it's not. Um, it kind of makes sense when they take the mask off at the end. Yeah. Or like pull the, the mummy tape and the mummy spins around and it's just some dude standing there. He's like, oh, you got me. And the dog caught me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, because we all remember need... a bit in Breaking Bad when the the we two twins, they yeah. go, they crawl, and they do the whole thing, and it's like the room oh, full of the yeah. this. I don't know what it's called, but the, this type of shit. Yeah, they little this gold. little fella. You know all this type of stuff. Like yeah. how they celebrate the dead. That's Mexico, right? But I think it's a Spanish tradition, is it? Oh. Or maybe yeah. not. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but I know yeah, that's around Halloween, all fascinated right? with it. They all do the Dia de los Muertos. Oh, Dia de mm. los Muertos. Wow. Oh, hello, Laura. No, no hablo inglés, but uno cerveza, por um, favor, señorita. Or, uno bovino, por favor, señor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goodness. I can order drinks in Spanish. Or say that I can't speak English. Uh, the opening scene of Spectre, the James Bond film, had yeah. is Dia de los Muertos. Oh, shit, it is. The, oh, man. That's great. That's a really good intro. Strong. Powerful. Rock hard. Viagra. Can, can I say this? Can, oh. Is this a controversial thing for me to say? Yes. Uh, Daniel Craig's the best James Bond. Mm. 
make of that what you may. Mm. Uh, I don't think there's anyone better than him. At this point, you can say whatever you want about Quantum of Solace, but Daniel Craig's <laughs> iteration oh. of James Bond is yeah. fucking Bond so good, man. I'm what a waste of it. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they could have done it. They could have done Quantum of Solace better, but yeah, I. Who cares? The point is, they've done what four at this stage. Yeah, and, and they signed like, up for a fifth. There's a new one coming out. There's, there will be another Daniel Craig. James no one. Sign me up. I'm ready for another rodeo. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. We've done wait, it. Man, We've shaken so hands. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it again. I'll watch another one. I think he's a very strong James Bond. I think it's a more mm. serious one. I think it's more of a from a book adaptation. From mm. how they describe James Bond, like the whatever the author's name is, Ian Fleming. The way Ian Fleming described James Bond originally, the thing that was weird for me was well, that he's growing not like up, that. he was more like what Sean Connery and Roger Moore and all played uh, in the books. Like, sorry, you're he right. He was more the gentleman's club, more like the the suave, sophisticated, go and order a fancy cocktail and sit and sip and in his fucking black tie shit. Daniel Craig. No, you're right. What I mean is. There was a version of mm-hmm. James Bond he wrote, just like that. There's versions of actors, mm. and the one Daniel Craig is supposed to be portraying is one of those versions. Oh, so right. it's not one true to James Bond. Like when he did Casino Royale, the first one with Daniel Craig, mm. apparently that was really authentic to the way Casino Royale was created as a Originally. book or as literature. It uh, was the first ever film that featured James Bond, but it wasn't a James Bond film. The first one, really? the yeah, it was like Casino Royale featuring James Bond. It wasn't yeah. a credited James Bond film, yeah. Interesting. The first official James Bond was. Dr. I love that. No. You love the Daniel Craig Casino Royale. I I think Casino Royale is mm. one of my favorite James Bond films, and in a way, it's not that crazy or big or elaborate, mm. but it's got a lot of fucking story. It's really like mm. personal. It's got a lot Le of chiffre. heart. Huh? Le chiffre. Is that your man who's yeah. bleeding? Yeah, he's See, a good actor. He's, he's always he's always something. the bad guy just sulking, isn't he? Like, he's deadly at it though. He is. He's, he's like a modern day Alan Rickman, I think, isn't he? Oh, like or a modern day. Uh, not as verbal. <laughs> maybe not as verbal. He just looks at you like. I think he's the go-to guy. If like, because obviously Alan Rickman died. God bless his soul. But uh, yeah. he, I think Mads Mikkelsen might soon become the new popular villain in show. Yeah. He, he we does just, we just so need, well. Like. We just need a kids' film for him to be in. A kids film, yeah, because I think that's what really pushed Snape to the stardom. Alan Rickman, yeah. Alan Rickman, thank you, to the stardom. F- from what? What film? Harry Potter. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus, man, Alan Rickman was in loads of films before Harry Potter. I know he was. He was the villain in Die Hard. I know. He was talking about Hans stardom. Gruber in Die Hard. I'm talking about stardom. I disagree. I think he was fucking super well known before Harry Potter's. He, he I'm talking was... about stardom. Oh yeah, man, he was like Alan Rickman. We're, we're fucking talking about Alan Rickman here. We're talking about Alan Rickman. He was in many films. He many he, films. He, he he's went a through in every film he's ever been in. I think. No, he's not. I don't think he's ever been a, on the good team. No, yes, he, he went through a stage where he was like the leading man in like rom coms and stuff. Much younger, in his like twenties, I think. Oh yeah, no, he. I know he's in a lot of things, and like he kind of went through phases of kind of being like the actor, and then like no, and then mm. like you know the same thing. I think happens to many men and women actors you kind of see they go through a period when they're a bit older and they get like a new kind of you shape change their angle. a new style a kind of like a yeah. a bit of like a Heisenberg on it and all of a sudden they're mm. like rock and roll again uh, but what I think about it I think I think the role of Snape definitely pushed him into that next level stardom and was like you know walk of star on the hall of fame remembered once he died kind of thing Many and I think have your man, the bad guy from James Bond with the seeping eye. Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen. I think it's the same thing. Oh, for him, uh, he's for a sure, good actor. Yeah. I've seen him in loads of places, but he's he needs that breaking out role that's part of a franchise to really get that recognition, to get that stardom, to be. Well, you know he's on the Carlsberg ads now. Is <laughs> yeah, Carlsberg looks like you know they him. Like literally, it's just, just crying just, blood. It's him sitting in a chair with his legs crossed, and he's like. The greeting, and then he says, like, handshakes are good. Uh, he's like, <laughs> they never do fist pumps are good, but they're complicated. And then it's like, here is the Danish way. And he just clinks his bottle and takes a sip of his bottle. He's like, that's the best way. Wow. Yeah, it's good, man. He looks cool as shit. He's Where's good. Carlsberg from? Denmark. Ah, Denmark. Denmark, yeah. Thank God for that. He's all dressed in a fancy suit, and then, yeah, it's. He, I just, I'm not with you on the Alan Rickman thing. I think Alan yeah. Rickman was super well known before Harry Potter. To like to maybe to to an extent. You're not kid known. Once not kids hell, know not, you. Maybe not you're a famous. household name, but fuck man, he, like he was Hans Groot. Like I'd have to get a full list of all the films that Alan Rickman was in. 
But we're not doing this by quantity of films. I'm saying I'm talking no, about but stardom. God, it, like he almost ma- like he almost made films better. Just oh, okay, we're back on Facebook. Um, there you go. Yeah, Alan Rickman made films better. I think. Just I, I'm not disagreeing with you. Maybe not, this is what you're saying. Like, yeah, to be as fa- like to do to anyone in the fucking Harry Potter films is now a household name. Really. Pretty much, yeah. Um. Like you could really say that about any actor. But Alan Rickman could have never been in the Harry Potter films and still ended up being so highly revered Probably. when he died. Like, um, what did he die for? Was he wasn't that I'm old? Not sure, it wasn't too long ago either. Um, yeah. He, I'm not sure. Mm. He, I'd have to go and look at it. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, man. James Bond. How did we get into James Bond? How did we get into it? where? Where? Yeah. Where? Where did we start this? And where was I going with it? Well, Dia de los Muertos. That would probably that. That's brought up James Bond. Never about James Bond. You said he's the best. I'm super into I James Bond. Grew up, kid, like. I grew up with Pierce Brosnan, and I just thought those James Bonds, looking back at them, were so fun, adventure, quirky, really like family adventure, mm-hmm. and I really liked them for that. And so when Daniel Craig stepped up to the scene, I was a little bit. Confused. Mm. It was a very different take. It was a very different style. I mm. didn't care about the whole blonde hair thing. I don't care what color no, skinny is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's about it's about the story. It's about the energy. Mm. And I was like, this is a very different James Bond film. But it turns out that that first venture into Daniel Craig is still probably still holds some sort of place in my mind as the one of the best James Bonds I've it's ever the seen. The best decision they made, anyway, for fucking sure. Who what are they, who are they gonna get after this? Oh, we we did we touched on this a while ago, and it hasn't. None of it's changed. All of this is still speculation because Daniel Craig signed on for another one. Yeah. There was talk of it being Idris Elba, which would be great. He would be good. He'd be yeah. like James Bond. He'd be like uh, Daniel Craig. I think he'd be a little bit more kind of badass. He'd be like snapping yeah. dudes' necks for no reason and shit, like just getting like <laughs> dinner spoons and like yeah. shoving them in lads' eyes and popping yeah. their eyeballs out. Well, um, you kill people a few times, and I guess you get a bit of a thirst for it. The, the fella who plays um, Loki, Tom Hiddleston, from the he, yeah. Loki from the Avengers, he, he was he'd be, be really good. I think he's been pushed forth as one as well. Yeah, he's another one. I'm just trying to remember from the last time, but I think they were the two more serious considerations. But because Daniel Craig signed on, you want this is, is all pretty? just gone back burner. <sighs> now that we've kind of moved away, actually, we never really had one. Like I don't know, who cares? Who do you think was he's that? a good actor? Like it doesn't Tom matter. Hiddleston, yeah. He's a really good actor, like, and he has a kind of a suave thing about him. If, if I think he could play it very well, Idris Elba, they, Idris Elba and Tom Hiddleston would be two completely different James Bonds. Yeah, they would be. I I think anyway, because if you look at Luther and what what uh, Idris Elba has been in, yeah, well, Idris Elba is in fucking Thor as well. Yeah, funnily enough, he's like the gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Idris Elba's in fucking lots of shit, man. Yeah, recently, he's, he's doing well. He's getting around. He he had that. Uh, household name thing that you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. He, um, well, now nowadays, well, see, he was in the wire. Year, like he was yeah. in the wire years ago. Like he was so good in the wire, people thought he was American. Yeah, like that because of how good his accent and shit was. Mm. But um, for me, it was Luther. For, for mm. me, it was like, oh, look at fucking, look who it is. Like, yeah, same. That that blew him up into a different level for mm. me. Um, but he was also in rock and roll though. He was in rock and roll before, yeah. but it was it was a kind of yeah Not a huge. Like, no. He didn't stand out. He was like, bubbles in rock and roller. So was Tom Hardy. He was in rock and yeah, roll. Yeah, pretty pretty boy. Handsome Bob or handsome Bob. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it? He suits the name Bob so well. I don't know why. Oh no, sorry, no. His name his name is Bo- Idris Elba's name is Mumbles. Mumbles. Yeah. It's Mumbles, handsome Bob, and one two. One two. One two is Jared Butler. Butler. It's terrible. Name. Is his nickname was he counts to represent? I don't know. Um, Rock and Roll is one of my favorite films. Is it? It'd be up in my top ten, but I lent the DVD to somebody who I no longer speak to, and it's not on Netflix. And I've been dying to watch it for fucking so long. Like since since this since we started doing this fucking podcast a hundred and odd episodes ago. I don't know if you want to say a hundred and one because this is the hundred and first. So it would be a hundred since a hundred episodes. I don't know anyway. But <laughs> since we've started doing this, I've I've wanted to watch fucking rock and roll. I'm like, you gotta do it. I know, man. I'm gonna have to go out and get it on DVD. I think because it's not on Netflix, and I don't you know. You can probably gonna... get it cheaper than an avocado these days. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I think so. 
A DVD of rock and roll that's like years old. I'd say you walk into Tesco, you get it for two euro. Hmm. Nah, maybe three. Euro. Maybe. Have we got a new eye? Yeah. Maybe this Facebook thing is worth our time. Mm. But Instagram. Instagram has always been doing well. All the traffic is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Should we keep testing Facebook for a moment? Yeah. We'll keep it up. We'll keep it Facebook for a while. See how it goes. Give it a give it a probation. Seeing as how badly it performed the first time. That could have been us. We were dropping phones a lot. That was in your room for like episode 50, I think. Was it episode 50? It must have been. Oh my God. Because it was a special episode. No, it wasn't 50. It was our one year anniversary. So that could be any number. Oh shit. It could have been close to 70. Who knows? Or 80. Was it the one? Was it when you, it was so that would have been April. Yeah, maybe. So April to now. You, you, you could, yeah, it could be like episode maybe 60. or. We've slowed down a bit though. Like the we last sped couple up, weeks we have, yeah. Like... Towards the one year anniversary, we were doing two weeks constantly. Two, and two then week, yeah. I, I really busy and yeah, we probably slowed down a little bit recently. We kind of go with numbers of episodes. Oh, we're nearly gone on Instagram. Okay, thank you for watching. We'll what probably Instagram? we'll probably stop Facebook. See in the how this goes. If if it stays for the whole thing, that'd be interesting actually. But then people instead they wouldn't go to SoundCloud or iTunes. They just watch the whole thing on Facebook. You'll still get the well yeah. to this to, to like we get. Thanks fucking, for watching. Adios amigos. Oh, sure. Um we still get the like ninety percent of our listenership comes from actual podcast listens. True. Do you know? Um I'm interested to see how long this is gonna last for us though, because I like looking at this phone. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's nice. Even the shit at the bottom looks fucking nice, man. We haven't even yeah. looked at it like comments will appear here. And then you've just got a little it's got a little wand. Oh, I forgot the mic there. Okay, touch the little wand. Touch the wand. Yeah, go on. Give it a little. <gasps> oh, God. What is this? Ah, oh, it's all this shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Eh. Okay. you got a Game of Thrones one. Oh, it... oh my God. A little cat. Oh what the fuck? There's a cat on the screen. Dude, press the Game of Thrones one. Press the, game... press the oh. Night King there. Oh, God. What is that? I don't know. We want to... <gasps> oh, my God, oh, Jamie. You're my... a Night King. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That's too much. Jimmy just turned into the Night King. That, yeah. yeah, it's too early for that. It's too early. I don't like that shit. You know, you know how I feel about all this type of shit. But um, I mean, it'd be interesting to watch a podcast where people look like we, where we just both do the Night King thing for the whole episode. Like, uh, that would be interesting. Yeah, Not for me, but I would go with it if yeah. it became a thing. <laughs> um, <coughs> okay. So. Are you ready to catch a Malteser in your mouth? Yes. All right. Will I throw it up for you? Or do you want to throw it to yourself? No, you can throw it to me. Go yeah. underhand though, don't. Yeah, yeah, of course. Don't no, no. Never do that. Like, Doesn't make any sense. You ready? Okay, yeah, go. Okay, do you want to throw one for me? Yeah. Okay. You, you want to throw it like quite vertical, or what are you going to do? You going to do okay. like a? Are you going to do like a basketball? I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go underhand again, yeah. so it's going to come in. Okay. Oh, quite. So okay. you might need to. Yeah. Well, maybe go a little bit higher then. No? Okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. One. Okay, no, I'll, I'll just do it. I won't count. I'll, yeah. The, the, Wait, next time I, the next time I do that, it's yeah. going to let go. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Jamie. Thank you. Um, oh, it's even tastier when you have to wait. Maltesers are fucking incredible. Get some more um, in there. Do you mm. remember what I was saying to you on the last episode about that I'm eating less sugar and like, any yeah. time I seem to get sugar into me now, it's like a, ooh, it's like a buzz. I had a pack of Maltesers the other night at this party I was saying earlier on. Yeah. And I got the biggest buzz from those Maltesers that I'd gotten from anything sugary in the last fucking, I don't know how long. Was it a, a bite-sized packet like that? Yeah, it was a little fun size pack. So what, yeah, what, six? On the way at the whole thing. No, but there was six, seven, were they? Mm, maybe more than six or seven. I, I don't know, man. I'd, I've I'd, had I'd, three. I would have said there was more than ten, but... You've probably had three, right? I've had three. I've definitely had more than three. This, that would have been my fourth that you threw to me, I think. I think I've only had three. So it's probably like ten in a pack. You got a buzz from 10 little balls of sugar. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, it was so good. So good. So tasty. So that's what happens when you give up sugar for, what, a week? Two? Mm. Everything in moderation, yeah. And you, this, we said this, you don't realise how... You don't realise what you get from this st shit until you kind of come off it for a while. Mm. Do you know, like... Or to, 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 to kind of go back to, to harp on again that we always fucking talk about diet and nutrition. If you're not eating well... If you're only eating fucking shitty food all the time, shitty, sugary, carb-laden, fucking bullshitty food, and you start eating well, 
you will notice such a fucking huge difference. You will feel it so soon. Like As soon as the shit gets out of your system and it's clean shit going through your system, you'll notice a fucking huge difference. The same, and I, and I can say this from my own experience again, uh, if you have kind of shitty food or sweets, or you'll feel shitty. Like You'll mm. feel it straight away, I think. I think what happens is people become numb to it. They do, they become desensitized, like, as with sugar, as with like, like I've told or drugs you, or anything. I used to be much worse as a kid. Like mm. I don't really eat stuff that bad nowadays, but I still have a bit of sweet too. I'll still like, I still probably eat stuff every day. Yeah. Like, I can remember the last day I just didn't have sugar that day. Mm. And it's like, why don't I do that? Why don't you just experiment? Why don't, why don't you try that to yeah. see how you feel? According to Chinese philosophy, the body is always in healing. The body constantly wants to heal, and it's once you get out of its way, you can actually allow it to heal. Right. Sugar prevents that. Sugar prevents that. Sugar's an acid. So basically, it burns cells, and mm. if you are to believe what they've found out through intermittent fasting with rats, and th this isn't a study, of, this isn't me just talking about the fasting, mm. but rather how everything is kind of, how fasting shows something. Because when you're fasting... Fasting's very variable. Fasting's one of the ones that I've noticed that you can have a completely different fasting method and like yeah. the actual time that you eat to someone and it doesn't really make a huge difference. It can be beneficial to you, but that's not to say compared to what I would have diet. It's one of the few that you can really interchange, I think, when you eat and how you... Kind of. Diet is kind of set for what you eat is mm. if you eat good food, it's good. If you eat bad food, it's bad. Yeah. But the actual timing and fasting, say, is you can really tinker with it. Say you can you can really well, yeah, chop the change when you eat. Yeah, sort of. It's about mm. it's about doing it on like it's about creating your uh, like a ritual, and then your body gets used to that ritual. Mm. So then it knows when it's actually eaten because it's on a yeah. You're doing it like the same hours every day. Mm. If you choose to do a daily fast, but the the point I'm making isn't actually yeah. about fasting. It's just about that when they did do intermittent fasting with rats. Mm and mice or whatever they did and when they found out like how the digestion works and how like sugar affects us mm. what they realized was how much the lack of sugar in the diet benefited them benefited yeah. it, it, like and, and true intermittent fasting that. they were able to realize that when the body's not digesting and all that it actually allows cells to grow much quicker meaning mm. that you age slower so sugar yeah. speeds up aging that sounds nuts, but I'm fucking 100% behind that it does sound nuts it sounds insane hey, but I'm 100% behind that I say that, things man. Look it up yourself, yeah. question it, yeah. try it out, test it on mm. yourself, and then come back. That's why I always say, mm. it does sound nuts. But it makes fucking sense. Like, But it makes sense. Sugar is not natural, unless it's a fruit, and then when it's a fruit, there's a lot more things that you're getting with it. Mm. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, apparently, according Don't. to many <laughs> studies... The overprocessed, the overconsumption of, of refined sugars that we have in our diets is actually causing it's, cell degeneration yeah. that can lead to really complex diseases yeah. that I won't mention because then that does get a bit contrary. People are like, oh, it's not because of food. But like, I mean, it's not as... I don't know. Yeah, People say things are genetic. Cancer is a weird one because there's so well, many right. different influences can cause cancer. Well, Sugar is linked to cancer to 100%. Yeah. Well, I mean, at the very least... If you just look at, at the simple idea mm. of, of any disease in your body, mm. if you fast, the disease is usually mm. killed by itself. Yeah. It has nothing to feed on. There's bacteria constantly mm. in your stomach. There's good and bad bacteria. And when you have sugar, mm. it like it keeps growing. It has something to live off. It spreads. It, yeah. Like apparently, they, they say when you have cancer, sugar, sugar is one of the things that helps kind of fuel it like yeah. like you're keep lightening it or yeah. something I don't know so like there's a lot out there so I'd say you're doing the right thing oh cool yeah, I'm pointing right at you I did that by looking at the phone but mm. anyway. um, you are doing the right thing and I should try and follow suit I, I would have. I would say it man I, I, I I'd say get better if you no sugar yeah. I eat quite well but I need, I think you've got a better sugar. diet than me overall I think yeah, but I still have a red fairy sweet too. And I've mm. noticed kind of weird shit happening with my teeth recently, like pains and stuff. Oh, that's I cool. think even though I don't consume a huge amount of sugar these days, I still do it on a daily basis. And yeah. that's a that's a habit. That's something I'm doing every day as a habit. And here's one. It can slip easily into your um, fucking... I don't even think... Okay. This, I don't even think having it every day is the problem. I think it's the amount that people have. But that builds up. It does build up. And if you're eating fucking loads every day well then yeah it's, of course it's going to be a problem um, the two I like again 
who the fuck am I to start commenting on anything? But the two worst things humans can put into the body are sugar and alcohol. And you look at Ireland, just let's take this country as the example. They're the two far and away most popular things people buy to eat, to drink and put into their bodies. Yeah. Like, uh, as a bread. whole, when you look at the whole country. Bread and beer. Well, bread is, yeah, bread. Hard sugar. Mm. No, bread. but I, I mean specifically alcohol. I don't necessarily mean beer. Because you can get alcohol in fucking spirits and whiskeys and all different types of shit, but mm-hmm. they're fucking bad. Po- like, sugar and alcohol is actually poison steel. Like, mm. This is it's as fucking simple as it gets. Yeah. Um, Why would you say you can't be involved in that? You're not a big drinker. You're not a big sugar consumer. What do you mean? What, what did I say? You said maybe I can't talk about this. But no, I said who? It's not. Like, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a fucking nutritionist. I'm, oh, not, right. I'm just yeah. a regular Joe who's experienced it. Great. So, like, my word I would is take that a opinion. professional opinion, but it's... But I would take that opinion more. Because you've nothing to sell to me. Yeah. Hmm. And it's not that I'm trying to say, oh, I don't trust someone who's professionally learned Can I have sip of this? Yeah, yeah, give me a glass. Oh, baby. Oh, you're getting it oh. green now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Look at the colour of this bad boy. Oh, that's the bottom of the sea kind of shit. Mm. Mm. Um, how did we get on to sugar and diet again? Oh, who knows? We always end up here. We do. We, we just have it's curiosity. easy to go down that road for us, I think. Mm. Um, fuck. Oh, what time is it? Oh, 10 to 4, okay, we're still on. We're still on. We've made time. I don't think you're, I don't think you're, who were expecting to come home, came home. Oh, no, they are. Oh, are they? Did yeah. Mom lived in home, was she? 15 minutes ago, they came home. How do you know? I heard noises at the door. Yeah, if I look up now, the car will be there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I have unusual hearing at times. I could be looking right at you and you could be talking to me and I won't be able to hear a single word you're saying. Mm. But then I can also hear like noises at the very back of a bar. It's like it doesn't really make any... It's not, like I don't have very good hearing, so it's not that. It's like something mental. It's how you tune in and out of things. I don't know, yeah. Interesting. Something strange going on in the head. Um, oh, no, the fluff is going to fall on my finger. Did you get it? Yeah, probably Nice. So, I want to talk about music. Okay. Nice. I saw this video two weeks ago on YouTube. I was taking. A, I was trying to render some video. I wanted to take a little break and look at YouTube. And I also uh, saw a very interesting video. What you first? And this was a documentary. It's sort of like a mini documentary from. Uh, Verve or I don't know one of these kind of things. It wasn't Vice, but it was something like that. It was like how this star became famous through SoundCloud. Okay. I was like, ooh, this is interesting. This is some good stuff. So I, I kept watching. There's about this guy. I'm gonna give you his backstory. That was intense. <clears throat> that last bit was intense. Sperlina. Yeah. <sighs> Fiona. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna come alive. Pretty much straight away. Come alive. Yeah. My eyeballs are tingling already. Oh. Oh. Keep them in there. Oh. Go. Nice. Basically, I'm going to give you his backstory before telling you anything about him. <coughs> okay, do I, it, does his name make a difference? I think you might know him. If Can I, I guess who it is? Can I guess who it is before you start talking? No. Okay. In case you do know. Okay. Is it a rapper? Yeah. Is it Chance the Rapper? Nah. Okay, okay. So, Go. um... <coughs> so... Basically, this guy was like a bit of a... In school, he was like a funny oh. kind of guy. Yeah. You know, he's always making jokes. His teacher said that, you know, he was a slacker and all this. When he was, like, young, 15, 16, he was, like, smoking weed all the time. He left uh, school. Where's he from? Do you know? Originally New specific? York. Grew up in Texas. But his friends are, like, huge nerds. They were big into games. And he was, like, into video games and stuff like that. And they uh, they moved to L.A. because they were so successful. He moved with them. He begged them. He was like, let me live with you and all this. While he was there, he became an expert at Guitar Hero. Like, amazing good. Also, his dad... <laughs> Brought him up on all types of music. Great. So he has a love for everything. Like his first album Amazing. was like a rock album. And then he grew up in Texas and he was big into country music. He has a very broad interest, broad spectrum, mm-hmm. spectre of music. But he was playing guitar here and he's like, I'm so good at this. I could probably go be good at guitar. So he, start, he bought himself a guitar and started learning the guitar. Self-taught on guitar. And then as he started putting music up on SoundCloud, his set, he, he started to learn how to create beats. He became He started to follow that around and he became more like a hip-hop artist and then he brought out a song on soundcloud called white aversion white aversion yeah a-v-e-r-s-i-o-n no i 
Iver- Iverson. White Iverson, sorry. White Iverson? Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Alan Iverson, the basketball player? Yes, thank okay. you. <laughs> Iverson. Uh, White Iverson. Yeah. And that song was then retweeted. Like a million fucking times. Like Wiz Khalifa and all these big artists. Right. And he got huge out of it. He spent a year after that making his album. And it was people waiting for it for ages, for ages. Oh. It had like over 130 million views. Can I, can I make a guess to who it is now? And his album's been out a while. And I've been listening to it non-stop. Can I guess who it is? And it's... Is it Logic? Post Malone. Oh. His name is Post Malone. I've heard of him. I he haven't put his, heard him. He put his name into one of those Wu-Tang rap name You've told things, me about him before, yeah. And Post Malone came mm. up. I Such think that might be how I know him is true you. The reason I didn't say his name is because I feel like people don't like him. Or people look at him and they're like, oh, he's like a white guy trying to be black because he has got like the grills in sometimes. He's had his hair in braids before. He kind of talks like a bit like he's but but uh, okay well but I don't like very, that look regardless of what color of your skin you but are. he's not always doing it okay I and like sometimes the grills he's, and that shit sometimes he's more like a country things. thing he's got like the thing here and the thing and then he's got the grills and then he's like sometimes he's got his hair like a mullet and he's like wearing a suit and he's got like big boots on he's a, I just think he's a very creative and I don't think there's any talk going mm. on and I don't mean that in a negative way I just mean like when people are like oh he's trying to be this he's trying to be that I think he's honestly just like just yeah. going with the tide yeah. man he's a very interesting fella he's, dr- he's always drinking Bud Light and he's always smoking he's only like 22 and he's wow. now becoming huge his album Stony is like go- Stony is like because that's what they used to call him when he was smoking weed all the time. He, apparently, someone put something into his weed and it gave him really, like, some, something like PCP, is that a thing? Yeah, PCP, yeah. Uh, someone put PCP. I don't know too much about PCP, but it's pretty fucking it's, intense. It's a bad like, stuff. Yeah, yeah they put great. Whatever PCP is, they put that into his, his smoke and he yeah. doesn't smoke anymore. But because that was his nickname, he put that on the album. Highly, highly, this has been waiting, people have been waiting for this. Mm. I've been listening to it non-stop for about two good? weeks. They love it. Mm. Oh my god! Really? Oh yeah. That's an interesting reaction from you. I'm gonna be honest. That Why? whole reaction to <laughs> it's the first time I think you've ever had that. What? That kind of the way you just said the that passion. That, that whole thing that just happened to you when I said, "Do you love that?" And you're like, "Yeah, that." I don't think you've ever done that with the music thing wow. before. I I love him. I think he's going to be big. I think he's not even gonna stick. I don't even think he's gonna stick to rap. It's like a it's it's a rap hip hop R and B album. I think I think you could call it R&B okay. in places I'd have to hear it to, to kind of like, know the, what you're talking about in one way you feel like you're like energetically asleep when you listen to his music energetically asleep I guess I don't to describe it I think there's also like 16, 20 songs that's a good amount of songs I've been listening to the bonus album on Spotify there's, ah, there's okay. two versions but like oh man I just I just really like it and check it out mm. so that's that's my music review for the week nice post Malone do you have any questions for me you're gonna have to send me links to like some of the songs I yeah like. you're gonna have to send me links that I can listen to these links okay Um. well probably his SoundCloud that's where he got big I'd say he still a lot of mm. stuff there yeah White Aversion came out and that blew him up that's what I meant Iverson. White Iverson sorry yeah. that brought him into the next stage and I didn't like that song at first now I think I actually really love it uh, and then he brought out a song called Congratulations and then that also broke Do you records. know who I've been listening to? Ah oh, shit man Your farts aren't coming true Yeah they're not loud at all just like I was expecting that to be far louder and far funnier and I'm disappointed now but it was the gamble I took Give me one of these next time you do it and I'll, I'll secretly go But now they're gonna know Oh yeah So Anyway, no, I haven't been listening to farts. Well, I have. Like, when mm-hmm. I do a fart, I can listen to it, but... It can No, Led Zeppelin. Wow. Yeah, I mean, one of those, uh, yeah. Blast from the past. Um, I, I, I've said this before. Every every so often, I go through a phase of having... What's that? Like a bit of a paisley whistle, as it's called. Why did you do that in between your... I didn't. Voice? It was just... It was whatever way I would, the S came out of my mouth. Oh, really? Me. Yeah. Oh. Um, Interesting. Every so often, I get it. I get into this kind of mode where I can only listen to one artist. It happened. I think like the last time I said it was Nas. I might have said it with Nas, or I might have said it with Kendrick Lamar. Oh, I totally get that. Hmm. I completely get that. It's the last. It's that's the last time this happened. Um. For for me, it's an album. I'll listen to an album on repeat instead of like a type of music. But when you're talking about someone like Led Zeppelin, who has fucking so much work. Mm. 
you you're not for me anyway when I get into that you're not bound to one album true if there like it, it you can do it like say to Pimp or Butterfly like, like I went through a phase of fucking like three months of only listening to Pimp or Butterfly nice um, and did it work it, I enjoyed every second of listening yeah. to it um, but for for me at the moment it's fucking Led Zeppelin and I only it only happened today and I I was like oh yeah no I'm in, I'm in Led Zeppelin mode now I want to only nice. listen to Led Zeppelin no um, idea what people listen to so on the way here I listened to the first album which has what on it starts with good times bad times and then it's babe I'm gonna leave you oh I know that um that's from the first album yeah Wow. I I don't know I, I don't know what album is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, the first one it might and I know I know people say well how like the fourth one. Um, What's the fourth one? Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven, yeah. Rock and Roll, Black Dog, The Battle of Evermore. Okay. All of the the fucking huge ones like but. Moby Dick is on four. Okay. Would well, Moby Dick might be one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs? Actually. I don't think I know that one. There's no vocals, oh, and then like John Bonham plays this insane drum solo for like I don't know two hours. Great, it's like a two-hour drum solo. Well, I'm listening to that after this. John Bonham playing Moby Dick for real. That's a film quote. If you can tell me what film that's out of, I'd be very impressed. Give me a clue. I'm allowed two clues. Okay. This is my first. Uh, first clue. It's a comedy film. Step Brothers. Yes. Oh, that's that was my first Expertly reaction. Expertly done. Expertly done, yeah. Like, as soon as you said that, I felt like saying Step Brothers. And then Logic came out and, and I was like, you don't know Step Brothers well enough. And I don't. Why? Why mm. Step Brothers? And then you said comedy and I was like, go with the go. Good it's choice. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the bit where but he you see, even... ball back on his, on his oh, is drums. It? Yeah. Oh, He's like, yeah. John Bonham's playing Moby Dick for real. Do you know, oh. that's the, yeah, very funny. Oh, actually, that is Fucking quite clever. Clever. Okay, so there's definitely some part of my brain that took value. You remember? It's hard not yeah. to when you see balls on the drum kit. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> it's hard not to. It's an intense scene. It's fucking so good. Have you watched Big Note yet? No. Well, so how intense is it when people point down at you instead of across? I don't point at people that often. I do it all the time, and I know it's a very aggressive gesture. Yeah, you kind of go like. I'm, I'm always. Dude, yeah. I'm, I don't think you overly do it. I think you use moments to really point. It's to me. It's more of a point of emphasis, like a yeah. bing, like a. Well, yeah, because your eyes do the thing as well. Mm, yeah, I, but I, I, I know when you're talking about body language and all of that, that the gesture itself is very aggressive. Like to point at someone is, it's a weaponized kind of gesture. I don't know. What's your best Clint Eastwood? Have you ever seen Jim Carrey morph his face into Clint Eastwood? Jim Carrey has an incredibly rubber face. Jesus Christ. I've seen Jim Carrey move seen... his face into things that aren't even human faces. Oh, but man, like when he was quite young and he was doing like the before he became an actor and he mm. was up on stage and he would just do impersonation after impersonation. Yeah. He would like literally make his face like a rub, 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 yeah. into the next face and he'd like make the eyebrows mm. do this, he'd make the nose flutter, yeah. he'd control every muscle on his face and like, you could hear like people like gasping. Like yeah, that is shocking the audience. He's and amazing. His, his face will become Clint Eastwood. You just look around the room and people are like, Jesus Christ. Rubber faced. That's, that's so the impressive. best way of describing it for me, I think. Jim Carrey's just rubber faced. Have you seen all the Jim Carrey stuff that's happening? See, this is how I point. Oh. Have you seen all the Jim Carrey stuff that's been no. happening recently? Jim Carrey stuff. What, uh, Jim Carrey is blowing up on the internet at the moment because right. he's telling people that he's not Jim Carrey. What? Um, he, I think he's become woke. What do you mean? I think he's awakened. To, to what? Like what's to the presence, to reality. He, what's he saying? He here? is the universe. Uh, he is a stream of consciousness. The person that he thinks he has to be called Jim Carrey is just a role he's been playing for years, like any actor. This is very interesting. And he's been he's been put onto shows. Holy now. shit! Go on. I'm, uh, this he, is, he's you got like me. A, you, yeah, I'm in. So this it, is a conversation it, we can. It seemed like like craziness in one way, but I think oh, I think he's okay. I think he's actually just very very conscious or something mm. he's, he's also talking about um <laughs> i don't know if i've told this you about this topic before this is, no this is a topic oh, he, he's is talking about me. he's talking about um <laughs> he's talking about your seed your balls like well your your seeds and how they when you when you don't disperse them how they 
have somewhere else to go and it creates something else within the body mm. like that that what is in that is the ability to create life so if you don't just kind of give it up yeah you can create more interesting things within yourself mm. if that makes sense well that's the first like mike tyson's few years of no nah. that's the first chakra isn't it the, the base is your yeah. dick and balls well yeah everything comes from your sexual energy mm. that's where you have the drive to do anything that's yeah. where apparently in a lot of ancient texts they say you can accomplish anything is when you accomplish your sexual energy that's the first one though that's, how that's, it, number, that's, that's only the step first one. one that gets blocked off when you talk about chakras and yeah, all that shit that's, that's the root chakra then you've like the navel here and then you've like it's, know, it's, the one in the stomach there's yeah, definitely there's one, one in the heart each station then there's the, the neck that's all about like you know expressing yourself you, yeah then there's like, like there's, your, there's the third eye there's actually two in your head the, the no, top no. one is the third eye no no this one's the third it goes throat and then third eye and then it's like Spiritual enlightenment is but right there. That's what I mean. There's two kind of in you. Like, if you look at the human body, there's two in your head. Area. No, the spiritual one is above your head. You're beyond body okay. at that point. Do you want, will we get the list? Then? Yeah. The, I Let's can't remember the names of them. There's... I think the Dick and Balls one is called the Root. Yeah. The root Chakra. The root Chakra. I know what it is. Um, yeah. I know the Third Eye one. I know the Heart one. Or whatever genitalia you have. If you're a woman, it's your vagina. Well, they know, yeah. Dick and balls sounds funnier than vagina, though. Let's be honest about it. Yeah. Um, that's when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a simple... Okay, so we've got... Oh, shit. They're all, they're all the real names. Uh, okay, no, here we go. We have, starting from the bottom... Yeah. Root. Root. Root chakra. The next one... Is kind of your belly button area. Yeah, that's, that's your sacral. Yeah, they call that the navel area. Okay, so that's your sacral. Yeah, chakra. Yeah, and then the next one up is kind of no, a no, little bit lower. Belly. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like the top of your six pack side. Yeah, okay. that's Great. your solar oh, chakra. Solar chakra. Then your fourth one up. That's the net. Then that's the heart. Yeah, heart, heart throat, throat chakra, third, third eye, eye, crown, crown, crown chakra, crown chakra. Mm. But he's saying a lot of interesting things online and a lot of people are actually backing him up, but others think he's going through like a psychotic... I don't think he... He seems fine. It sounds to me like he's... Check it out. There's a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of interviews. He's also doing it as part... Like, he's not just trying to create controversy, but like the reason he's back in the public mm. eye is to also talk about this film that he's done. Oh, fucking of course. Um, <laughs> Why can't he just talk about this having not done a film? I think he that's has been. me off. Oh, no, well, he, okay, that's like, good. Then. There's some like motivational speeches that he's done. Like You can find like Russell Brown. Oh, somewhere. Jim Carrey, if you're out there, we've like, got to get Jim Carrey on the fucking podcast. Three years now. ago, you could find stuff, but it's it's become increasingly more and more. Mm. And now that he has this new film coming out, he's like got more he's interviews. He's his pedestal to, to I think make... So. I'm on, I'm on with that shit, man. I think there's something to be said about creativity and the stream of creative consciousness and shit. Like, it's really interesting. It's hard to get into without selling them nuts. But anyone who's... Like, you take anybody who is a creative person, be it music, art, podcasting, writing books, anything, they'll all... I'm sure if you got them all together and said, creativity, discuss, it'd all be kind of singing off the same hymn sheet, I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, I'm interested. I'm going to have to look this shit up. Yeah, the, the, so what, the does, film, what does he now call? Is he complete? Is Jim Carrey just changed his name or what? No, no, the, no. I think it, I think his point is like you know the way, like people say, a true psychedelics. Mm -hmm. What happens is you detach from the ego, and what is the ego? The idea of self. And you yeah, of, the, the you break. I, I, the I, me, I, I think that's everyone. his point that he's trying to make. He's like Jim Carrey is an act. It's just this vessel. It's the shell that, it's I've, the been shell that I've been living and I've been lying to myself. Oh. What I am is the universe. What I am is consciousness. What I am is presence. And everything else is just a play. It's just a dance. Oh, I mean. Of atoms. That's yeah. fucking fascinating to me. It's great. Nikola Tesla said it himself, man. As yeah. soon as we start looking at the shit that we can't measure, that's when it gets interesting. Oh. He, and this I is fucking Nikola Tesla we're talking oh, about. No, man. Man. I know. It's too much. It's too much. He, he said it himself and he's one of the best, man. He was one of the best scientists. Like, He's like, as soon as we start trying to, in, as soon as we start investigating the phenomena that's not physically occurring, like you can't measure shit. You can't just, like, what's in my hand? Nothing. Well, let's measure, like, space. Yeah, like, there's loads of things you could say, but as soon as we start looking into that shit, that's when everything gets interesting. Mm. And I think Jim Carrey might be onto something like I, that. I definitely think so. It, what the, what it is that he's back for is he did a film where he played Andy Kaufman, who was like a very Years famous. Ago. Man, that was Man on the Moon, yeah. 
Man on the Moon, yeah. Mm. And apparently he just thought Andy Kaufman was such an interesting character. And I didn't know much about Andy Kaufman before realising that this documentary is yeah, coming out. Yeah. The documentary is about how they made Man on the Moon and how the production company oh, didn't wow. want any of the behind-the-scenes stuff loose because people oh. would think Jim Carrey's an asshole. Because what he did was get lost in the character mm. and just actually play like Andy Kaufman. Apparently, Andy Kaufman was the kind of guy that would sometimes just go on stage and just say something really fucking serious and dark. Mm. And apparently, he just wasn't trying to make people laugh. He was just trying to be what you're not expecting. He was trying to make you think. He was trying to make you question. He was trying to make you confused. He would just get lost in playing a weird character. Is that, can I say, this is another controversial statement for me. That's a fucking incredible that he was doing that. Yeah. To, to not pander to the crowd, to do what he wanted to do was a It's very performer. freeing. And risky, but he clearly became famous from that. And Jim mm. Carrey, at any opportunity during the film, even when the cameras weren't rolling, mm-hmm. decided he would be doing the same thing. He just wow. devoted himself to become Andy Kaufman to the point where he said, when the film was finished, he had to become Jim Carrey again and was confused as to who the hell Jim Carrey Fuck, was. Method act- Jim Carrey has done. Me- I, d- I never had right. in my head that Jim Carrey was like a method actor like that. He was for this. He's he got lost. For a few things, man. He got lost in the role. Oh, fair fucks. So, the film apparently delves into that, which is we, which is interesting because it also correlates to kind of everything he's talking about while the film is coming out that he doesn't feel like he is Jim Carrey anyway. Mm. So it's it's re- it's, it's fascinating. Look up some of his stuff online. He's been asked to do loads of interviews now because people are like, "Are you okay?" And other people are like, "You're so spot on." And it's just like he's he's all over the place That's talking it, about this- atoms and. This type of shit's one of those really polarizing subjects because the people who are kind of in with this creativeness and explore that side, like as we've said it a couple of times, that creative side of your brain. Um, the people who don't, the people who are closed off to that, think this shit is just fucking crackpot stuff. Mm. You know, like you can't. For me, being kind of where we are now, as like me doing the podcast, I I wasn't an overly creative person. But doing the podcast has helped me become more creative in other aspects. Yeah, completely. That's that left-handedness, right-handedness of the brain we were talking about ages back. Do you know what I think it is? Just to interrupt you for a second. Go I on. think it's the domino effect. I think once you do something positive for yourself, whether it's small or big, you just have a chain reaction. And if you can actually concentrate on having more of a win on your sheet at the end of the day than a loss, mm. you're just going to do more. You're going to end up expanding even more. Mm. I don't think it has to be as big as a podcast. Maybe not. We were. I was talking about this with someone recently, and we were talking about the psychology of it. You just need to do simple things. You wake up in the morning at a good time. Make you need to bed. make your bed. That is so important. They talk about that in the military all the mm. time, like the psychology of that. You need to make sure you're getting good new food into you like you are at the moment. Mm. You need to do some exercise. You just need to make small wins and do them constantly. Mm. And all of a sudden, a few months will pass and you'll be a very successful person in whatever way you describe success. Yeah. I just need to get that out because yeah, you're right. I felt like that was important to say. Yeah. Um, Fucking Jim Carrey, man. Jim Carrey. Interesting. <laughs> so check it out. Now... I know in one way it seems like we've just got started, but it is an hour and a half in and it's also ten past four and yeah, uh, there's certain, the deadline, wasn't certain it? people in this house have night shifts, so I need to respect that. But this definitely feels like we did push through a barrier and we're on the second part now. Mm. We're on like season two of the Alpha Project podcast. The next hundred episodes are season two. That's what it feels like. The next phase. And it feels like we definitely got more of a feeling of what we're onto. Mm. And in a way, I'm very excited to continue this onto 102. Yeah. Because this almost feels like we haven't finished okay, the episode. What are we going to talk about on 102? Do we wanna... need to wrap it up. We give them a little kind of a feature of what's going to happen. An episode. I might, a, one I might talk th- about a strip club that I've been doing some work for. We'll see. I have some interesting things to talk about, about the stigmatization of all that. And, mm. um, and I've got a, I've got a couple books I want to talk about. Great. I so haven't gotten a chance to The yet. book club will be resurrected. What a book club, yeah. Yeah, Fuck. the APP book club. And We're going to uh, have to think of a jazzy name for that. Um, how about that? And I've also been listening to J. Cole, which I'm going to Oh, great. Mm. So you can look forward to that in the next episode. Will Stranger Things be out by that time? Yes, I yeah. think it will, man. Stranger Things so, is out in four days. We might have the pilot to review for you. Anyway. It's the day before Halloween. I think it's the 30th. It's 30th of October. Halloween. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so next oh, Monday. Fuck, no, maybe Halloween's it's... next Tuesday. Oh, that can't be right, man. That can't be right. Um, Stranger Things is out in four days. Halloween is Tuesday next. Halloween is Tuesday and today is Monday, so Stranger Things must be out this weekend. It would have to be, because I looked at it yesterday and it said five days. So, 
great. Well, we'll definitely we'll have that. terrible with dates and we'll, days and we'll shit. definitely so have that by next time. Yeah. Yeah. Stranger Things, I think, will be on the next episode. Thanks for watching on Adios, Facebook. Adios. And uh, 